Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Amsen with another live coding session and today we are venturing into the world of Rust, a language known for its speed and safety. Together we will uh, tackle the intriguing remove duplicate letter uh, challenge on LeetCode. So Rust has its unique charm and today we will uh, harness its power to solve this problem. So if you've seen our previous session in Python or uh, any other languages, I will uh, provide a link to implementation in the description below. So uh, let's uh, first grasp the essence of our problem. We need to eliminate duplicate letter from a string, ensuring each letter appears just one. But here is the catch. The result has to be in lexicographical order. So now let's jump straight into the Rust code and uh, dissect it piece by piece. Uh, so yeah, basically the task is quite easy to understand. So given uh, B, C, A, B, C, we need to remove all duplicates. So we can see that B is duplicate C as well. So we are left with A, B, C, and those are in lexicographical orders. So we output A, B, C. Uh, so uh, to start, we uh, need to initialize our uh, stack using Rust dynamic vec data structure and next, we have uh, got a scene, a hash set to monitor the character we have uh, come across. And lastly, last uh, occurrence, hash map will keep tabs uh, on the last position where each character appear in the string. So first things first, let's import use uh, collection, collections, yeah collections, uh, hash set, hash map. Okay, so uh, given this, uh, now let's implement let mutable stack vec uh, character vec new and let mutable scene hash set character hash set new and let mutable last occurrence hash map, character, unsigned, uh, hash new. And now look, so for, I see in S a character, enumerate. Uh, so yeah, and now as we loop through a string character, our main logic kicks in. So if the character isn't in the scene set, we use Rust powerful pattern uh, matching with the while let a constructor to determine how uh, to modify our stack. So last occurrence insert ci and for i c in uh, s uh, char enumerate if uh, not seen uh, contains not c while let some top stack uh, last if c less than uh, top and i less than last occurrence get uh, top unwrap uh, so uh, the essence here is to maintain our stack such that uh, it always reflect the lexicographical smallest sequence and by the end of our loops uh, this stacks will be our golden ticket to uh, our solution. And uh, yeah, and there you have it. Uh, so uh, let's scene, remove uh, stack pop, unwrap, else, break, and close bracket, scene insert uh, C and stack push C. So stack uh, into iter collection and we are uh, replacing it uh, yeah, to uh, iteration collection uh, and uh, yeah, into iter collect and uh, this is a return statement in Rust. So let's run it. So uh, 
we are transforming uh, lastly stack back uh, into a uh, string and yes as you can see uh, our output is correct so working perfectly so let's also submit it for unsynthesis cases to double verify uh, it's working uh, so yes it's working and as you can see yeah we beat 25% uh, with respect to uh, runtime and uh, also 50% with respect to memory so interestingly but uh, yeah this implementation is uh, quite fast comparing to uh, other languages so uh, all good so uh, yeah so today we have seen just a glimpse of uh, rust uh, potential and if you are keen on uh, learning rust uh, check the other videos for more uh, details and tutorials about uh, rust and also uh, i will provide uh, implementation in other languages and i hope this session uh, brought you a bit of clarity and added a new tool uh, to your coding arsenal and if it did uh, so uh, please give it a thumbs up and if you have any question uh, please leave the comment in the comment section below and yeah uh, consider subscribing for more uh, challenges tutorial in rust and also machine learning and tech and until next time keep practicing uh, happy coding and stay motivated.